The country has continued to experience upsurge in building collapse in recent times, and that attendant loss of innocent lives demand a very strong response from relevant government authorities to end the ugly trend. Perhaps the reason why the Enugu state government is clamping down on weak and illegal structures across the state. According to the Commissioner for Enugu Capital Territory Development Authority, Mr. Chidi Aro, the exercise will assist government in its urban renewal program. The issue of building out of the law in Enugu has reduced by more than 70 percent because we have not just tried to enforce the law. Our leader, the governor, has also been on the road himself to educate people on the processes of this urban renewal and why standard procedures will be taken. You can see yourself that we have a four-story building without any railing around, no protection for occupants. I can also assure you that even as it is, we have also asked for the development control approvals for the construction of this building. We haven't seen any. In Bayelsa State in the South-South region, the government says it won't be business as usual for those who are in the practice of selling government land. This is why Governor Seriaki Dixon is personally supervising the demolition of illegal structures on government-acquired lands in Yenogua, the state capital. Irrespective of who the person or persons are, that this government or governments before this one paid compensation and the people received government money, then it is criminal. We'll treat them as criminals. We will treat those who have bought the land as trespassers. Now this phase of operation is only targeted at those who have encroached, those who have trespassed on government land. Residents believe that government must ensure that only qualified professionals are involved in the implementation of all physical development programs, as this is the only way building collapse in the country can be reduced to its barest minimum.